the game to see the boxing voice. Boxingvoice.com live here with Willie Monroe Jr., El Mangus. El Mangus, so what's going on, brother? When we gonna see you back in the ring? Uh, we, you know you're coming off a, 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 a hard fight, but we're, we're still excited, we're still behind you. We wanna know when you're gonna get back in there. We'll mix it up with one of these other 160 pounders. I want to know too, <laughs> but I was I was told like late September, early October, sometime in the fall. So uh, we'll see. I mean, hopefully it's on the undercard of Triple G Lemieux. You know, makes sense. It makes sense. They're building up Lemieux and, and Triple G and Canelo and and uh, Cotto as the four kings. You got to slide back up in there and get in the mix, man. I, I mean, I got to find some way to get, to, like you said, slide back up in there. But, I mean, we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? Now, is your next fight going to be on HBO? Or are the viewers of HBO going to be blessed to see you fight there? Or you don't know what network yet? Uh, we haven't been told a network, a fight date, or anything. We've just been told late September, early October. And, you know, that's enough for me because I live in the gym. So so you're staying in shape? I mean, if you stay ready, you don't got to worry about getting ready. 15 pounds away? Uh, about 12 pounds away. Last, last night I was about, actually, uh, yeah, about 12 pounds, 170.3, so 171.3 last night, so. Any any sparring, or you wait till you actually have a fight signed before you do sparring? Uh, we like to wait. I'm just working on a couple uh, couple things. I have my, my amateur coach that was working, he's working with me on a regular right now, just implying, re-implying some things that we did in the amateurs, so. So a little bit of cardio is uh, what, just staying in shape? Uh, yeah, yeah, and just more or less training the mind now, you know what I mean? It's time to take it to another level. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can be, you get a little comfortable, you know what I mean, doing what you do. It's almost like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And we saw the last fight, there were a couple things that need to be fixed, so we're working on it right now. Now, you're here at an ESPN PBC event. I mean, is there any chance that we could get to see you on Premier Boxing Champions one day? I mean, hopefully. This is a, this is a beautiful... Uh, this is a, a beautiful venue for boxing, it's, and, and PBC has really been getting a lot of viewers, and, and a lot of people are respecting what's going on under the PBC umbrella. So hopefully, and why not? ESPN is where I like really made my name. So I mean, you know. Now, obviously, you being in a 160-pound division, there was a guy that made weight today. What did you think of Daniel Jacobs and the way that he looked? Uh, obviously, that's someone that uh, you know you could face maybe in the future, maybe here on Premier Boxing Champions. Uh, yeah, actually, Dan Jack is a real good friend of mine. We were in the amateurs together. We fought on a couple of amateur teams. I mean, he's right up the road. He's in Brooklyn. I'm in upstate. But, uh, I mean, he looked good. Him, him and uh, um, Moore look good on the scale. Uh, Danny looks to be in, in tremendous shape. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pulling for him. I'm hoping he wins tomorrow, which, I mean, he should. If he goes out and, and, and be the Danny Jacobs that I know, he'll be able to win easy tomorrow. Well, my last question, if you, if you had your way, who, who would you pick to uh, be your dance partner for the fall? Oh, man, anybody in the middleweight division. I mean, I fought who's considered the best middleweight, you know. So, I mean, why not Why not go after another top middleweight, you know. But, I mean, you know how it is. I mean, they line them up. I take them, you know. All right, Willie. Well, if you have any uh, social media you want to give out at this time, anybody wants to follow you can do so? Uh, yeah, they can follow me on Twitter at Willie Monroe Jr. And they can follow me on Instagram at Willie underscore Elamongoose underscore Monroe Jr. All right. Well, thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Mongoose, thank you.